hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome it's all about keto here and today i'm going to be making some keto cinnamon sugar pretzels i really hope they turn out good it's my first time trying to make it so i'm excited to try to make it for y'all so you can see what it tastes like and yeah y'all gotta have something new to eat to you guys keto menu okay so stick with me i'm gonna show you everything that you need for this recipe Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get a bowl, microwave safe bowl, put our mozzarella cheese, put our mozzarella cheese and our cream cheese in the bowl. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna heat it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. So you're gonna take it out, stir it up. It's not melted enough, so we're gonna add another 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's better, it's more melted. Show you this is what it's looking like so far. Then we're gonna add our almond flour coconut flour, and then one egg. All right, once those are all in, stir it up. Okay, now we have our dough. If you've never made this before, this is called fat hedge dough. And um, yeah, so a lot of people use like the base of like pizza or um, like any kind of like bread dish you wanna make. A lot of people use this. But it's only like my second time making this, but it's good. So anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna take this and we're gonna divide it up like to make the like pretzel shapes. I have my baking sheet and my parchment paper so they don't stick. Okay, my first little pretzel. So adorable. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be five exactly, but I'm gonna just, you know, try to take out <laughs> as evenly as I can. So, I'm gonna finish this and then I'll show you when it's all done. So this is what I have, four pretzels. Um, they're not that even, so make them as even as you can because then that means they're not gonna cook like, you know, all the same. But I have like two huge ones up here and then like two smaller ones, especially this top one. But it's good. We're gonna put it in the oven. I already preheated my oven <clears throat> to 350 when I first started. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and then I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so now in a small bowl, while we're waiting for, um, the pretzels to cook, we're gonna make our coating. And you need to put your coconut oil and butter, and they're gonna melt back. Oh my God, and I completely forgot. Um, you guys need cinnamon. <laughs> Clearly you need cinnamon. They're like cinnamon sugar pretzels. I completely forgot, but cinnamon, yeah. So put this in the microwave. I'm gonna do like a minute. And then in a separate bowl, we're gonna do our 
sweetener. Now you can use whatever sweetener you want to. I like Swerve the best so far. I like Stevia too, but Swerve is like, I only have a small Stevia. And um, and that Lakanto, it's, I don't really like it like that. So anyway, Swerve is what I have. Well, you whatever you like. And then cinnamon. Smells good, it's browned. Okay, so I have my little lineup here. I really wish somebody could like record like over me so you guys can see better. But, okay, so you just take your pretzel and you got one of these little brushes. It's cool. Cause then you could um, brush the coconut oil and butter on top of the pretzel. So. Or you could just dip it in also. Cause if I didn't have this, that's what I would be doing. Okay, then you just take it, dump it in there like that. Other side. <laughs> now, taste test time. The moment we've all been waiting for, right? Okay, so I think it's like pretty good. It doesn't taste exactly like a pretzel. It's like a, the dough is thicker than um, a regular pretzel, but I don't, I never expect these dishes to taste exactly the same. Like when they're due, I'm super amazed. So this one is good. Like if you need something sweet, you need to taste like a pretzel, it tastes really good. Um, this um, cinnamon sugar mixture is good. That tastes like regular to me. That doesn't, like, if you know, it's a sweetener, so it has like a little bit of different taste, but it tastes regular to me. The coconut, oil and butter the coconut is stronger than the butter obviously because you put more of it but um i think this is good like i will make this again so the dough is like easy to break off you don't taste like the cheese so you know the dough is made out of cheese you don't taste the cheese really oh, baby, let's see. but it's good i think it's good for a low carb pretzel so that is it. That's my review on, you know, the recipe. That's how you make it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a video a thumbs up, subscribe so you can get more videos from me. I post every Friday pretty much. And um, yeah, I just always have new keto recipes. If you want me to do anything that you've been wanting to do or you want to see, then let me know. You can message me on Instagram, on my Instagram somewhere at the bottom. And uh, or comment down below. Either way, thank you guys for everything, watching, subscribing, sharing, recommending people um, to my channel. I appreciate it so much. Like you have no idea, I really appreciate it. So hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.